Hi, I'm Oyinu from Jock, and today I'll be talking to you about the adjustment process of the Adroit 6000 pressure sensors. The Adroit 6200 is the first and the latest pressure sensor released by Jock from the Adroit 6000 range. It is a highly accurate, digitally compensated analog output pressure sensor. To enable our customers make the necessary adjustments to the zero and span settings of their sensor, we have developed the Adroit interface and the Adroit 6000 app. This process is simple and intuitive. There are two versions of the Adroit 6000 app, the Windows-based version which is available to download on the Drug website, and the mobile version which is available on all Android devices such as your smartphone or tablet. The mobile version is available to download on the Google Play Store. When it comes to calibration of the Adroit 6000, it is no different from that of any other analog output pressure sensor. We simply start off by using a calibrated pressure source to apply a minimum or zero pressure as well as a full scale pressure to your pressure sensor. We then measure the analog output at each pressure point using a calibrated current or voltage measurement device. Speaking of calibrated pressure sources and electrical measurement devices, our drug range of calibrators and test tools are perfect for all your field calibrations. We have the DPI 705E, which is suitable for pressure indication. When combined with the UPS3, it enables electrical measurements with a 24 volt loop supply. We have the DPI 611, which provides a compact handheld pressure and electrical calibrator with an integral pump capable of generating pressures up to 20 bar, and it also gives a 24 volt loop supply. Similarly is the DPI 612, which is also a pressure and electrical calibrator. It provides an integral pump which is capable of generating pressures up to 1000 bar with interchangeable pressure modules. It also provides a 24 volt loop supply. And here we have the DPI 620 Genie, which delivers combined functionality offering calibrated pressure, electrical, frequency and temperature measurements, as well as sourcing. It provides the ability to expand the pressure ranges as needs change and is available in commercial and hazardous area versions. So once we've taken the measurements, we can now connect the adroit pressure sensor to the adroit interface. We simply connect the positive terminal of the adroit pressure sensor to the positive terminal of the adroit interface. Similarly, we connect the negative terminal of the adroit pressure sensor to the negative terminal of the adroit interface. Next, using the supplied USB cable, we connect the adroit interface to your device. Once connected, the app will display the sensor serial number as well as a full list of options. One is the zero adjustment, which enables you to reset the zero point of your sensor. We also have a full adjustment, which enables you to change the zero and span settings of your sensor. There's the output calculator tool as well, which simply allows you to calculate the expected pressure value for a given signal output reading or vice versa. This tool does not require a sensor to be connected, to be used. And lastly, the factory set option, which clears any saved adjustments and returns the zero and span settings of your sensor back to the original values at the time of manufacture. Today I'll show you how to make a full zero and span adjustment on the Adroit 6200. I'll start by selecting the full adjustment option, then select the type of output for the sensor I have. This sensor here is a voltage output sensor with a range of 0 to 10 volts. And next I set up my pressure range, which is rated in bar and has a range of 0 to 70 bar. Once my range values have been entered, I click on next. And here is where I enter the actual values measured during the calibration I carried out previously. On this gauge sensor, I applied a 0 0.05 bar at low pressure which gave me an output of 0.1 volts. Then at the full scale pressure point, I applied 69.88 bar and got an output of 9.99 volts. The app then displays the entered value so I can quickly check everything is correct. 
it also displays the calculated zero and span shifts required for my sensor. At this point, I have the option to continue the adjustment or to abort the process. I click on continue to accept and apply the adjustment. The app implements the necessary changes to the sensor configuration and confirms the adjustment is complete. And I can now disconnect my sensor and conduct an as left calibration if necessary. And that completes the simple adjustment process on the Adroit 6000 pressure sensor using the Adroit interface and the Adroit 6000 app. Please go to drop.com for more information on this great new product and its exceptional performance characteristics. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our Drop YouTube channel for more videos and content. Thanks for joining me and let's keep calibrating.